In this episode, we're bringing you a railway feature from Darlington, the only bridge to ever feature on English currency. A 1990s £5 note showcased the bridge with its 1829 embankment upgrades. These were added when the original embankment became damaged due to the heavier than expected traffic from the railway carriages and wagons, where previous engineering only catered for horse-drawn carriages. Skern Bridge is a crossing of great history. It's the world's oldest continuously operated railway bridge, and it was the largest piece of infrastructure on the world's first proper passenger railway, the Stockton and Darlington Railway. The bridge spans the Skern at the north end of Darlington, this was the biggest ravine on the Stockton and Darlington Railway, which opened on the September the 27th, 1825. See how the new concrete top's been placed on it to stiffen it all up. And the abutments from when it was a wider railway. I was at the Darlington Town Centre through the through the art. Yeah. This is Skern Bridge. And it's all still maintained by the Rail Authority, which is Network Rail now, but the abutments are still here from the railway when it was wider. And that is the oldest railway bridge in use in the UK. See in the centre of the screen now we can see a fixing for the old 3R type railway wire fencing that comes round to the widened abutments here from when the railway used to have additional lines that have been removed and the bridge along with it. We can also see here the uh, cutouts from the wooden props when this was being built. Three different eras of engineering here. The original there, the strengthened abutment part here, and then the abutment for the widening there. And then above the fourth from Network Rails era when they've strengthened the track bed above the old bridge. Dodge Stevenson originally planned to build an iron and stone bridge across the ravine but when his first iron and stone bridge over the Gornless at West Auckland was washed away, the railway directors looked for an alternative. The price of iron ore also rose, so they ordered Stevenson to seek advice of Ignatius Bonomi, the well-known Durham Cathedral architect, who was also the county bridge surveyor. His plan was to fill the sides of the ravine with rubble and place a three-arch stone bridge over the river. A large arch in the middle and two small pedestrian ones on either bank. This is one of Vicky's locations, so shout out to Vicky. Francis Mewburn, the world's first railway solicitor, laid the bridge's foundation stone on the 6th of July 1824 and it was complete by early 1825. At a cost of £2,300, it befitted a Quaker railway as it was a simple affair. The Stockton and Darlington Railway had expected to carry 10,000 tonnes of coal a year from Shildon to Stockton and a few passengers, but by 1828 it was carrying 5,200 tonnes plus 40,000 people. Huge weights were going backwards and forwards over the bridge. Brendan's research shows that by late 1828 the embankments on either side were becoming dangerously damaged and so the directors called upon their favourite stonemason, John Falkus Carter, to do some repairs. So in 1829 Carter added gracefully curving walls to the Skerdebridge to hold up the embankments. 
For many years, the bridge was inaccessible to the public due to a gasworks blocking the way. This is now long gone, and the bridge is now part of the Skern Valley cycle path and footway. Just going to walk through the pedestrian part underneath the bridge, looking at the very old stonework. You can see where it is manually chiselled, the chisel marks there. Wet. Smells of paraffin. The plaque. Oh wow. Skern Bridge. I can't say, can you say that name? Ignatius Bonamy. Ignatius Bonamy. Designed by Ignatius Bonamy for the Stockton and Darlington Railway. The oldest railway bridge in the world. Still in use as such. See the side that gets the sun because it's all dry here. The sandstone's all dark on that side. Well, oh. showing its edge up there. P will need to come and clear all that off, so it's going to actually push bits of the bridge off that grows in. Was that side open when you were a kid? No. I don't think I ever came this far down. No. Oh, it all looks derelict, but it looks like that used to go through as well. All fenced off. It's a shame that's all ripped off. Yeah, yeah, there is some information here. The route of the 1825 Stockton and Darlington Railway. It's quite badly vandalised. Ooh, that's an old photo, 1949, and it's showing that metal bridge. And we've just walked through there. That's the old signal box and the semaphores. Semaphore signals are going to be a, a sign to history on the Darlington Forge, yeah. That picture of my granddad. And that was in open. It's like an open, it's where they used to have a massive cauldron full of the iron ore. They used to blast, they used to furnace it underneath. It was like an open hearth furnace, That's I believe it was called. Something, something of that is at the entrance to Beamish now. Yeah, so if anyone goes to the Beamish Museum, the open hearth forge or the open hearth furnace is at the entrance to Beamish. So if you want to go check that out, it's like the big cauldron pot yeah, I don't, thing. I don't know what it was. Yes, I don't. They used to use like a big pan, massive pan, and heat it up. So it's here that everything else has been. The platforms of North Road Station is still visible, but practically everything else has now disappeared. So North Road Station is just up here. These are the horses on that. Oh yeah, the horse-drawn carriages and they used to have railway wheels on and it was something to do with a gauge of railways four foot eight and a half inches I believe it is and it's it's to do with the width of two horses the width of two horses decided the width of the wheels and that is why the width of modern railway wheels the the, the width of them is like David's uh, two horses asses hmm. I think it's four foot seven and a half inches or something like that. It's the oldest bridge in the world, not UK. It, it is the oldest railway bridge in the world, still in railway use. The bridge is a scheduled monument is and is owned by Network Rail. And that's Albert Hill signal box, which is sadly long gone. That would have been up there. 
you can see the grandeur of the design like many railway abutments but this one's got the extra finials on top Stockton and Darlington Railway Mm. It's chemicals of some sort, isn't it? That looks like an old railway shed. There. Could be wrong, but it's got that railway esque look about it. Viewers, this was the final episode in the Darlington series. Check out the playlist in the description box to see the other episodes. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you every Thursday at 4pm UK time with another video. Bye bye for now.